In this video, we will review some tips and tricks on Jonas management system that might be helpful for your daily tasks. For logging in, if your password is the same as your username, you can enter the username and hit enter on your keyboard. It will lock you in immediately. This is only recommended for those POS servers and not managers who aren't using the mobile POS because mobile POS doesn't accept a password that is the same as the username. If your terminal has internet access, at the bottom of Jonas screen, you can click on a jonassupport.com link and it will take you to the support portal. This support portal is very helpful to log a support call or run the Jonas update. There is also a video available here that shows how to run the update. Now we will review some of the shortcuts that work within Jonas. You can hit the F1 key for help on Jonas. The shortcut can be useful in two ways. It can show you the help guide pop up on a menu item to let you know what it does, or it will bring up our Jonas Club help in your browser for the specific module. Alternatively, you can select the question mark that is available in the top right corner of most of the modules. You can also select the video icon and it will bring up the available tutorial videos related to that module. The F2 key is for lookup or word search. If you see a magnifying glass beside a field, it means that you can choose one of the available records. To do this, you can select the magnifying glass or hit the F2 key on your keyboard it will bring up the lookup list. Once you're there, you can hit the F2 key again to bring up the word search. The F3 key or shift tab keys can be used for you to go back one field. When filling up the forms in Jonas, you can hit enter once you're done with the field and continue filling up the form. However, you can hit the F3 key or the shift tab key if you need to go back one field. The F4 key is for you to exit out of the program or module. The F5 and F6 keys are the shortcuts that are available specifically for the hotel module. The F10 key is the shortcut for the gear icon if available on the lookup system. For example, on the members lookup system, there is a gear icon on the toolbar. If you hover over the button, it will let you know the action of the icon. In this case, it is to switch between the restricted or non-restricted member statuses list. Select that gear icon button or hit the F10 key on your keyboard to switch between the lists. Alt F4 can be used to close the screen just as you can do it on other Windows applications. There is also a shortcut for the buttons available on the window. If you take a look closely, some of the buttons have one letter underlined on it. You can hit Alt on your keyboard and the underlined letter to select the button. For example, B is underlined on a billing icon. If I hit Alt and B on my keyboard, it will select the billing button and open the billing information window. This can be useful if you have certain buttons that you use a lot, especially the ones at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more tips and tricks videos and don't forget to subscribe.